ability 411, Professor X. See me looking shiny, don't you? Oh, it's my shower night. I always shine on my shower night. This week's, oh, I'm also in the dark since it's so hot. I didn't want any light on. This week's topic is about going on with your life, right? Just living, having fun, doing what you want to do, despite the disabilities that we have. And that's exactly, I know, that's exactly what we're doing this week. This week we're just showing you that, you know, despite the situation, live life the best and to the fullest, also the safest. I don't know how a lot of people out there can do a lot of crazy stuff they do, even in the wheelchair, but I was never a stunt man anyway. I see a lot of people, they go out, they jump out of parachutes, do crazy stunts, bungee jumping. Huh. I was never into that type of stuff, so I probably wouldn't be into it now. But I mean, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of sports out there that you can get involved in, like quad rugby. See, I've never been in any sports, even before my accident. I was just a DJ and a person who just enjoyed life and had fun. So I guess that's why it was easy for me to adapt and just enjoy life and have fun now because that's just who I was. You know, despite whatever situation it was, wherever I came from, you know, coming from, you know, I wouldn't even say a poor family because if you, there's, some, there's a lot of rich people who are poor in happiness. It depends on what you're rich at. And we was rich in love, rich in joy and fun. I mean, I don't, I don't remember being sad when I was young, like, oh, bills, and I don't remember all that. I think when you were a kid, you know, you're innocent from all of the things, like, like today, I'm, like, I'm a lot, not sadder, but I'm a lot more <laughs> dealing with bills now. You know, when you get older, you know, when they say when you're young and you're trying to rush to get older, they say, you better enjoy your youth while you can. Because it's hard being an adult. You know, it's easy being a kid. You don't know what poverty is when you're a kid. You don't know what a lot of things are when you're a child. All you know is just wanting to live life and enjoy it, have fun, and run around and play with your friends, toys. That's all you care about. And, you know, I got all those things. So whatever I came from, you know, I grew up in the, in the late 60s, early 70s in the South Bronx. And, and yeah, any, I don't know if I ever tell you the story, you seen Beach Street. I mean, that's the way we, we lived. We was happy. We, despite everything around us was looked like it was blown up. Abandoned buildings and rubble and all over the place. Still have fun. So once you get older, and then you realize you got bills or you got kids and think, well not not saying the kids make it sad. But I'm saying you got responsibilities, you know, responsibilities. It's time to be serious, is what I mean. You know, I don't want people to get their stupid idea and go oh, saying it's, it's sad now, kids. Nobody never said anything about it. sad. Nothing's ever sad unless you make it sad. Life is what life is. So that's why we like go on with your life, have fun. Because life going to be what it's going to be despite whether you happy or sad. You could be the happiest person on earth. It's still going to be sad things, bad things happening. You could be the saddest person on earth and it's still going to be sad things happening. So, you know, you might as well just enjoy it. And I try to do that. I, I can't give you advice what to do because I don't know what you can do in your situation. You know. You know, I'm sure you know you used to do a lot before your disability. So a lot of us don't have a lot of options 
and people there for us. So those of us, or some of us, who do have these opportunities to get around their own, or have somebody there to help them, you know, we gotta remember our, our other comrades that don't have that option all the time. You know, and you always give advice of things that you can do, and you never really think about those who, you know, need other options, you know. But just remember everyone, you know what I'm saying? I try to remember all my fallen comrades and stuff like that. You know, us, together. Because we what really matters, you understand? You know, not people out there who try to use you, you know, to make them look big. So, <laughs> enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves with me. That Michael Jackson self. That Michael Jackson song, Enjoy Yourself With Me. Well, it's hot, man. What do you want me to do? I'm crazy. <laughs> the heat is messing with my head. So, you know, just make yourself laugh sometimes. You know, just enjoy and have fun. And find it whatever you can do. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things out here. You got the internet. You find a thousand and one movies to watch. It's like so much stuff on the internet, you can't run through everything that's on the internet. You know? Um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's getting there, folks. It's getting there for every one of us to be able to have, you know, the things we need or, or places we can go that are gonna be accessible. But in the meantime, you know, you do the best you can for what you got. And don't give up. Don't ever give up on hope. But remember to find yourself and find who you are in your soul, in your heart. And be that person who you feel is the best person you can be. This one's supposed to be about preaching, Professor X. It's supposed to be about living life. Well, I'm all over the place, all right? I have a low attention span. Can't stay in one place, okay? It's always been my problem. Can't stay on one thing. Always gotta be multitasking. Talking about all types of stuff. Fucking from politi politics to your own ticks. So, once again, the ability for one one we just talk about living life, enjoying, you know, make yourself laugh. We always gonna have problems. There's people who ain't paralyzed and got problems. Some people paralyzed and got worse problems than us. Just cause we paralyzed don't mean our lives is over, okay? Living to our best. Okay? Have fun. I'm gonna go. I got a few more things I gotta do. Yeah. Don't you love summer? You know what? You know, you never wait before I go. Winter, I'm cold, right? I used to take Tylenols a lot in the winter. I ain't even gonna say if I took a Tylenol now, because you know, once you talk about something and you say, hey, I didn't do this, all of a sudden you start doing it. So, you know, the summer's good when it comes to tolerating, I guess, the chills and the sweats and whatnot. You know, some is good for that. It handles that. <laughs> but, it's, it's like in the summertime, still can't do that. I'm under the cold AC. Whatever. <laughs> we try to enjoy it. But the thing about living up north, our, our temperatures fluctuate. Like today it'll be 105, and tomorrow it'll be 85, and then 65. Yeah, our, our weather is weird like that. So we get relief. But the thing that gets me is humidity. And that's hard for me. Okay, let me go. Because I'm off topic. 
I'm just rambling. Like I said, it's a shower night. That's why I look shiny. Let me get a little closer. That's how I look after a shower. Get my face all moisture. Yeah, I need a shave. I know. I need my hair. I, I, I know. But I enjoy just being happy. Okay, we got it. I'll see y'all next week.